Well, tonight's dirty dining menu has a diverse menu from small shops to a big corporate chain. Now, even Mexican food, fried chicken and coffee are on the menu tonight. So before you dine out, listen in to 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears. Mask up, back up, wash up. That's the health district's new motto, and they're printing it in health inspections, but it's clear not every restaurant is getting the message, especially when it comes to hand washing. By now, we all know that we must wash our hands for at least 20 seconds, but health inspectors say workers at El Geradero were doing just a quick rinse. One food handler didn't wash at all after handling raw meat. The Mexican restaurant on Warm Springs and Spencer got a 39 demerit C grade on its January 12th inspection. And and the C are you still working to fix everything? Yeah, we're still working on it. Is still there. Well, I just want to make sure we get your perspective on what happened with all those violations and the conditions in the kitchen that the health district found to be unsanitary and the issues with the hand washing. Hand washing violations topped the list at El Geradero, but there were also multiple foods in the temperature danger zone, including milk and two kinds of house-made salsa. There was a repeat violation for using the three compartment sink for food prep and dishwashing at the same time. Dirty kitchen wares were stored as clean. Food containers were dirty with old food. Unwashed avocados were touching sliced bell peppers and and fridge and freezer floors and walls were excessively dirty with buildup and old food requiring a deep clean. Uh, this happened was because uh, we are in, in, in big uh, in COVID situation. Mm -hmm. Our uh, workers are at home. They didn't come to You had a problem with staffing that day yeah. or has it been a problem for you yeah, for a long we, time? Uh, we don't have enough uh, workers. Owner Avelina Ramirez Morales says she's had to take on a lot of duties herself. So it's, uh, it's a little hard to work with, uh, with customers and work in the kitchen and work with everything. Inspectors say kitchen staff were not knowledgeable in basic food safety. Food was not date labeled. Salt and chilies were in uncovered bins subject to contamination and raw beef was stored above ready to eat cactus. There was also an open cup of employee coffee next to ready to eat customer food. We know this is a really hard time for restaurants and you're so limited in what you can do and so what do you want people to hear from you as you recover from this? It's uh, our customers for a long time, so they, they know us. Your long-term customers know yes. you and they know you're committed to fixing this? Yes. All three closures this week had the same imminent health hazard, no hot water. That led to temporary shutdown at rallies on Desert Inn and Boulder Highway, Public Works Coffee Shop on Water Street in Henderson, and Chick-fil-A on Rancho and Sahara, where the general manager says they were the victim of Murphy's Law. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong with their hot water heater at exactly the wrong time. Inspectors arrived at Chick-fil-A on January 12th to approve a newly installed dishwasher and found the restaurant operating without hot water water. That created multiple hand washing violations that led to immediate shutdown. The general manager says a plumber was on site fixing the problem when he discovered a faulty part. Chick-fil-A reopened with a new water heater and an A grade the next day. Public Works Coffee Shop's closure was on the same day for the same reason. Though the closure there only lasted a few hours, inspectors had to educate them on proper hand washing after seeing food handlers ring up customers, handle money, then prepare coffee beverages with no hand washing whatsoever. The manager at Public Works said two new employees were helping each other out, and now they're fully aware of just how much hand washing that entails. Public Works is back to a three demerit A grade. We've got full statements from them, from Chick-fil-A, and also more details about the rally's closure on our website at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.